Welcome to the HFY Tales channel. Remember to like and subscribe if you like the story. Enjoy and take care. Ethan stood by the wide window of Omega Station, staring out at the vast stretch of stars. The endless black of space, dotted with distant suns and nebulae, was usually calming. A constant in a life filled with meetings, negotiations, and carefully balanced alliances between humans and the myriad alien species that called the station home. But today, routine had been shattered. Attention all personnel. The station is now under quarantine for five days due to a cosmic anomaly. Remain in your quarters until further notice. The announcement had caught everyone off guard. Cosmic anomalies weren't rare, but they were rarely this disruptive. All station activity had been suspended, leaving hundreds of crew members, diplomats, and soldiers confined to their quarters. Ethan sighed as he turned and made his way back toward his shared room. Quarantines weren't new in space. Isolating for days was a standard precaution, but being locked up with Kalara, his Zyron roommate, added an unexpected complication. Kalara had been a distant, enigmatic presence since the day they were assigned to share quarters. Zyron were known for their rigid emotional control, their stoic attitudes, and their pride in maintaining composure, and Kalara embodied all of that. When Ethan entered the room, he found Kalara seated on her bed in her usual meditative pose. But something about her seemed off. Her skin, a calm, cool blue, shimmered faintly with streaks of violet, and there was a tension in her posture that hadn't been there before. We're in quarantine for the next five days. Ethan said, dropping his belongings on his bed. Looks like we'll have some forced downtime. Kalara's eyes opened, their usual glow brighter than normal. She gave a curt nod, but said nothing. Her body was tense, her breathing shallow. Something was wrong. Ayora, Ethan asked, concern creeping into his voice. He had never seen Kalara like this before. I'll be fine, she said. Her voice clipped, but Ethan wasn't convinced. Her tone was tight, strained, as if she were holding something back. He studied her for a moment longer before sitting down. Zyron didn't open up easily, and Kalara was no exception. Their conversations had always been minimal, strictly professional. Still, something was clearly bothering her. The glow in her skin seemed brighter, more erratic, and she fidgeted in a way that was completely out of character. As the hours ticked by, Ethan found it harder to focus on the data pad in his hands. Kalara's discomfort was becoming more obvious. Her breathing had become more labored, and her usually perfect posture was slumping. Finally, unable to ignore it any longer, Ethan stood and crossed the room. Kalara, he said gently, what's going on? You don't look okay. Kalara's eyes flickered open, and for the first time, Ethan saw something he had never seen in her before vulnerability. She looked away, her jaw clenched tightly. It's my mating season, she finally said, her voice low and filled with tension. Ethan blinked, caught off guard. Mating season. Kalara's skin flushed deeper, a darker hue of violet spreading across her cheeks. Yes, every Zyron goes through it. It's a biological imperative. Normally, I would isolate myself or use treatments to suppress the effects but with the quarantine. Ethan felt a wave of confusion and concern. He had known Zyron were different from humans in many ways, but he hadn't realized their biology included such extreme cycles. So, what happens if you can't suppress it? Kalara's fists tightened in her lap. If I don't manage the urges, I'll lose control. It could become dangerous for me and for you. Ethan's mind raced as he processed Kalara's words. He had known Zyron were biologically unique, but this, this was something he hadn't expected. Mating season, the idea seemed so foreign, so primal, and yet here it was, a real threat looming over both of them. How bad does it get? He asked, his voice quieter now. Kalara's expression tightened, her glowing eyes flickering with suppressed frustration. Bad, she admitted. Zyron biology is complex. The mating season isn't just about reproduction. It's about survival. If the biological urge isn't controlled, it can overwhelm us. Our minds, our bodies. It all becomes consumed by the need to bond. Ethan swallowed hard. And there's no way to stop it. 
Kalara shook her head. Not without the treatments I would have back home. Here in quarantine, I'm cut off from everything. I thought I could control it, but it's becoming harder. Ethan felt a growing sense of helplessness. Kalara was one of the strongest people he knew, and seeing her like this, struggling against her own body, was unsettling. He couldn't just stand by and watch her suffer. Is there anything I can do to help? He asked, his voice filled with concern. Kalara hesitated, her gaze flicking toward him before looking away. There is one way, but it's not something I expect from a human. What is it? Ethan pressed. Kalara took a deep breath, her voice tight. Zyron bond during mating season. It's a deep connection, physical and emotional. The bond helps stabilize us, allows us to control the urges. But it's intimate, too intimate for most humans to understand. Ethan's heart raced. He hadn't expected this. A bond, a connection that went beyond mere proximity. He could see the reluctance in Kalara's eyes. The fear of being judged. Of crossing a line that was never meant to be crossed. If it helps you, I'll do it, he said, his voice steady despite the uncertainty churning inside him. Kalara's eyes widened slightly in surprise. You don't understand what you're agreeing to. Maybe not, Ethan admitted. But I'm not going to let you suffer through this alone. Kalara stared at him for a long moment, her glowing eyes searching his face as if trying to gauge his sincerity. Finally, she nodded, her voice barely above a whisper. Very well, but understand, once the bond is formed, it will change things between us. Ethan nodded, his heart pounding. I understand. Kalara stood slowly, her movements measured, as if she were struggling to maintain control. She moved closer to Ethan, her glowing eyes locked onto his. The bond isn't just physical, she explained quietly. It's emotional. You'll feel what I feel, and I'll feel what you feel. It's a merging of our minds, our emotions. Once it's formed, there's no turning back. Ethan swallowed, feeling the weight of her words. He had known this would be intense, but the reality of what she was saying was sinking in. Still, he wasn't going to back out now. I'm ready, he said, his voice firm. Kalara lifted her hands to his temples her touch warm against his skin. For a moment there was nothing, and then a rush. A surge of emotions flooded through Ethan's mind, overwhelming him. Fear, vulnerability, desperation. But these weren't his feelings. They were Kalara's. He gasped as the intensity of the bond formed between them, a deep, primal connection that went beyond anything he had ever experienced. It was like their souls had intertwined their thoughts and feelings merging in a way that was both exhilarating and terrifying. For Kalara, the relief was immediate. The tension that had gripped her body, for days, seemed to melt away. Her breathing slowed, her shoulders relaxed, and the glow of her skin dimmed to a soft, steady light. Ethan, on the other hand, was still reeling from the impact of the bond. He could feel Kalara's emotions, her gratitude, her relief, but also something deeper something more personal. It was as if he had glimpsed a part of her that she had kept hidden from the world, a part of her that was raw and vulnerable. Thank you, Kalara whispered, her voice filled with emotion. I can feel it. The bond. It's helping. Ethan nodded, though he was still struggling to process everything. I'm glad I could help. They stood there in silence for a long moment, the bond pulsing quietly between them. It was more than just a connection. It was a shared experience, a merging of their minds and hearts that neither of them had expected. The days that followed were marked by a quiet, unspoken understanding between Ethan and Kalara. The bond they had formed continued to hum in the background of their thoughts, a subtle reminder of the connection that now linked them. Kalara had regained her composure, her usual calm demeanor returning now that the biological storm inside her had been quelled. But things were different. The bond had changed everything. Ethan found himself more attuned to Kalara than ever before. He could sense her emotions, her moments of tension, her flashes of uncertainty. And she, in turn, seemed more open, more willing to engage with him in ways she hadn't before. One evening, as they sat quietly in their quarters, Ethan finally spoke. This bond, it's not just physical, is it? Kalara glanced at him, 
her glowing eyes thoughtful. No, it's emotional, too. Zyron bonds are powerful. Once formed, they create a lasting connection. Ethan nodded slowly, his mind grappling with the implications. What happens when the quarantine ends? Kalara hesitated before answering. We return to our duties, but the bond will remain. It's not something that can be undone. Ethan felt a flicker of uncertainty. Can we go back to normal? Kalara's gaze softened, a rare vulnerability in her eyes. No, but that doesn't mean we can't find a new way forward. Ethan nodded, though the weight of her words lingered in his chest. The bond had changed them. There was no denying that. But how would they navigate this new reality once they were back in the world, surrounded by others who wouldn't understand? We'll figure it out, he said quietly, though uncertainty still gnawed at him. Kalara smiled faintly, her hand resting lightly on his arm. Yes, we will. Attention all personnel. The cosmic anomaly has passed. Quarantine will be lifted in 12 hours. Please prepare to resume normal station operations. Ethan's heart skipped a beat at the announcement. The five days had passed in what felt like a blur, but the knowledge that they would soon be returning to their regular routines weighed heavily on him. He glanced at Kalara, who stood by the window, her gaze distant as she looked out into the vastness of space. Kalara's skin had returned to its usual serene blue, the violet streaks of agitation now gone. The bond had allowed her to regain control, and for that, Ethan was relieved. But the question that had loomed over them for days now pressed even harder. What happens after this? Kalara turned, meeting his eyes. It's ending, she said softly. The quarantine. Yeah, Ethan said, his voice tight. Back to normal. Kalara's expression shifted slightly, her glowing eyes narrowing. Nothing about this is normal anymore. Ethan nodded, his mind racing. What are we going to do? About the bond? Kalara stepped closer, her posture more relaxed than it had been for days. But there was a hint of tension in her voice. We keep it quiet. It's rare for a Zyron to bond with someone outside our species. If anyone finds out, things could get complicated. Ethan finished for her. He felt the weight of the unspoken truth between them. The station was a hub of interspecies diplomacy, but not every species or individual would look kindly on a human and a Zyron forming such an intimate connection. Kalara's lips pressed into a thin line. Her eyes focused on his. Our bond is strong, but we need to be careful. Discreet. We go back to our duties. Maintain professionalism. No one can know. Ethan nodded, though the thought of hiding their connection didn't sit well with him. And when we're alone. Kalara's gaze softened, the vulnerability from before flickering in her eyes. When we're alone, we can explore what this bond means for us. It's more than just a biological need now, Ethan. It's something deeper. Ethan felt a warmth spread through his chest at her words. The bond pulsed faintly in the background of his mind, a reminder of the connection they shared. He didn't fully understand it yet, but he knew one thing. He wasn't ready to let it go. I'm with you, he said quietly. Whatever comes next, we'll figure it out. Kalara nodded, a small smile playing at the corners of her lips. Together. As the hours passed, they prepared for the end of quarantine in silence. But the air between them was charged with unspoken emotions. When the doors to their quarters finally slid open, Ethan and Kalara stepped out into the busy corridor side by side, the hum of the station's activity filling the air once more. For the first time since they had been confined, they were surrounded by others. Humans, Zyron, and countless other species. Yet, as they moved through the bustling crowd, their bond remained their shared secret. It was a quiet connection that only they could feel, and it gave Ethan a sense of strength and certainty. But the real world had returned, and they would have to navigate it carefully. The return to routine was immediate and overwhelming. Ethan was thrust back into his role as a diplomat, mediating disputes between species, attending high level meetings and drafting reports on interspecies cooperation. Kalara, as part of the Zyron military presence on the station, resumed her duties overseeing security operations and maintaining the delicate balance of power among the various factions. But even as they returned to their roles, the bond between them remained. 
It was like a quiet hum in the background of Ethan's mind, a constant reminder of the connection they shared. He could feel Kalar's emotions, her flashes of frustration during tense moments, her calm focus when she needed to maintain control, and he knew she could feel his as well. They kept their interactions professional and public, as agreed. They passed each other in the corridors, exchanged brief nods during meetings, and maintained the appearance of colleagues who had shared quarters, but little more. But beneath the surface, their bond simmered, unspoken but ever-present. One evening, after a particularly long day of meetings, Ethan returned to their quarters, exhausted but unable to shake the feeling of tension that had lingered throughout the day. Kalara was already there, seated at the small table, her data pad in hand as she reviewed reports. Long day, she asked, her voice calm but laced with understanding. Ethan nodded, letting out a heavy sigh as he sat down across from her. You could say that. Kalara set her data pad aside, her glowing eyes meeting his. You seemed distracted during the briefing earlier. Ethan hesitated before responding. It's hard to stay focused when I can feel what you're feeling. The bond, it's distracting sometimes. Kalara's gaze softened. It will take time to adjust. Zyron bonds are intense, especially in the early stages, but it can also be a strength. Ethan nodded slowly, his mind swirling with thoughts. I'm just worried about what happens next, about how we make this work in the long run. Kalara tilted her head slightly, her expression thoughtful. What do you mean? Ethan leaned forward, resting his arms on the table. We're from different species, Kalara. We live in different worlds, have different responsibilities. Right now, we're on the same station, but eventually, we'll be pulled back to our homeworlds. How do we maintain this bond when that happens? Kalara was silent for a long moment, her gaze distant as she considered his words. Finally, she spoke, her voice quiet but firm. The bond we formed isn't something that fades easily. It's strong, stronger than you realize. Distance will be a challenge, yes. But we've already overcome so much. We can overcome this too. Ethan felt a surge of emotion at her words. You really believe that? Kalara reached across the table, her hand resting gently on his. I do. The bond is part of us now, Ethan. No matter where we go, it will remain. We'll find a way to make it work. Ethan smiled, a sense of relief washing over him. Then I'm with you. We'll face whatever comes next together. Kalara returned his smile, and for a moment, the world outside their quarters faded away. There was only the quiet pulse of the bond between them, a connection that had defied expectations and brought them closer than either of them had ever imagined. Over the next few weeks, Ethan and Kalara settled into a rhythm, balancing their professional lives with the personal connection they shared in private. But the bond, while a source of strength, also brought new challenges. Rumors began to spread among the station's inhabitants. Whispers about the closeness between the human diplomat and the Zyron soldier circulated in hushed tones. Colleagues, both human and alien, noticed the subtle changes in their interactions, the lingering glances, the quiet tension that seemed to follow them. And while no one dared confront them openly, the undercurrent of suspicion was clear. One afternoon, as Ethan sat in a briefing with a group of senior diplomats, he couldn't shake the feeling that eyes were on him. The conversation around the table was focused on trade agreements with a new alien species, but Ethan's thoughts kept drifting to Kalara. He could feel her presence through the bond, a quiet pulse of determination and focus as she handled her own duties elsewhere on the station. As the meeting ended, Ethan was approached by one of his colleagues, a human diplomat named Taryn. Ethan, Taryn said, his tone casual but his eyes sharp. I've noticed you've been spending a lot of time with the Zyron soldier. Kalara, right? Ethan felt a flicker of unease. We share quarters, he said, keeping his tone neutral. It's not unusual. Taryn raised an eyebrow. I've shared quarters with plenty of people, but I don't spend much time with them outside of that. People are talking, you know. Not everyone's comfortable with a human getting too close to a Zyron. Ethan's jaw tightened. I'm a diplomat. It's my job to work closely with other species. Taryn nodded though his expression remained skeptical. Just be careful. Not everyone here is as open-minded as they seem. 
Ethan watched as Terran walked away, the weight of his words settling heavily in his mind. The bond between him and Kalara was their secret, but it was clear that others were starting to notice the change in their relationship, and while he didn't care about the whispers, he knew that the station's fragile politics required careful navigation. That evening, when Ethan returned to their quarters, he found Kalara already there, seated on the floor in a meditative pose. Her eyes were closed, her breathing steady. But as soon as he entered, she opened her eyes and looked at him. You're troubled, she said, her voice calm but concerned. Ethan sat down across from her, running a hand through his hair. People are starting to notice us. There are rumors. Kalara's expression didn't change, but he could feel a flicker of frustration through the bond. We knew this would happen. The bond is strong. It's difficult to hide. I just didn't expect it so soon, Ethan admitted. We've been careful, but people are starting to ask questions. Kalara nodded slowly. We need to stay focused. Our bond is private. We don't owe anyone an explanation. Ethan sighed, though he knew she was right. I just don't want this to affect our work. Kalara's gaze softened, and she reached out her hand resting on his. It won't. We're stronger than that. Ethan looked into her glowing eyes, feeling the steady pulse of the bond between them. You're right. We'll get through this. As the months passed, Ethan and Kalara continued to navigate the complexities of their bond, balancing their professional responsibilities with their personal connection. They had become experts at keeping their interactions discreet in public maintaining the appearance of colleagues who had shared quarters during quarantine and nothing more. But in private, their relationship deepened. The bond they had formed grew stronger with time, becoming a source of comfort and strength for both of them. They spent hours talking about their worlds, their cultures, their pasts. They shared moments of vulnerability that neither of them had allowed themselves to experience with anyone else. One evening, as they stood together on the observation deck, Looking out at the stars, Ethan felt a sense of peace settle over him. He turned to Kalara, who stood beside him, her eyes reflecting the distant light of a distant galaxy. We've come a long way, he said softly, his voice filled with quiet wonder. Kalara smiled, her glowing eyes meeting his. We have, and we'll go even further. Ethan reached out, his hand slipping into hers. Whatever happens next, I'm ready to face it with you. Kalara's smile deepened, and she squeezed his hand gently. As long as we're together, we can face anything. The star stretched out before them, endless and full of possibilities. And as they stood side by side, bound by something deeper than duty, Ethan knew that no matter where their paths led, whether across the station or across the galaxy, they would face it together.